Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video. And this tag is created by Annette's Makeup Corner and Prue LaRue. I will leave both of their channels up here and also down in the description. And they have done this tag and it's the behind the scene of YouTube. And this is 13 questions and yeah, I will start to answering them. And if you're not following Annette or Prue, you should really do that. I frown, frown. <laughs> I found Prue through Annette. And I love that about YouTube. So you should really check them out. And I leave the question down in the description if you want to do this yourself. And just let's hop into this tag video. Question number one. What was the hardest part about starting a channel? And I... I was so nervous to get hate and that people were going to be mean to me because I was so insecure when I put up my first video and I was like do people even want to watch this? will people hate this? will people like tell me that I'm ugly, I'm boring, I'm I don't know so I think that was the hardest part to like publish the first video it I didn't have a hard time to film it or anything, but it was just like to publishing it to be out in the world for everybody to see. That was the hardest part for me. Question number two. What equipment do you use? I have two soft boxes, and I, I have struggled so much with this settings on my camera and everything. I think it's pretty okay now. Um, so I have two soft boxes, one there and one there. I would love a ring light, but it's pretty expensive and I don't know where to put it because we don't have so much space here at home. I also use a tripod and I use a Canon 600D. It's called in Europe. I don't... I think it's maybe Rebel T3 in US. I do not know. And I use a Canon lens EFS 24mm. And that's the lens I use the most. It's... F you, you can't zoom with it or anything. But I like the sharpness of it and I like the distance that it gets. I would love to buy a new lens. I want to buy a Sigma lens. But it's expensive. It's more money than my camera I think so I don't know. and. Yeah, and then I also have this one. This is like my best friend. This is a um, remote to the camera. So I don't have to like see where the... So I have the focus on me because I don't have autofocus on this camera. So this one I really love. I can recommend this for everybody that's doing YouTube. This is such a good thing. I don't know what it is called. RC6 from Canon. Super good. Question number three. What editing, editing program do you use? What did you start with? I started with Wins Movie Maker because when I started it was the program on my computer and I didn't know if this was my thing or not. But now I have Sony Vegas Pro 13. And what I have no, it's it's a good program editing program but it's so hard I don't know how many videos I have checked on how to Sony Vegas Pro it's like <laughs> the most, most watched videos I have on my YouTube channel I watch them like all the time if I want to do something I like mm, how to insert the picture in picture how to so I really would love <laughs> it feels like iMovie and what is that other one called? Final Cut Pro. It feels like they are more easy for normal people to do. I think the program programs that are for like Windows and such are a little bit harder for normal people. You have to know certain things with editing and I don't because yeah. But now I use Sony Vegas Pro 13. I don't love it, but now I 
can do things with it so I'm sticking with that because if I have to learn something new no thank you question number four did you have any experience with making videos before starting YouTube and no I have read photography a um, but it was like only photo no moving picture so I have no experience before so I have just to figure this out on my own while I was going with it and it's better now than it was before. Question number five. On average, how long does it take you take you to edit? And that is... Sometimes it takes like 15 minutes if it's like a six minute long video. I usually don't cut so much in my videos. Even though I'm blabbering a lot. <laughs> I usually I just cut it while I look at it. So, so maybe... The editing part, if the footage are like 20 minutes, it will take like maybe 40 minutes or 30 minutes maybe. Because you have to look at everything and cut it. And then I usually don't have so many effects. I don't usually have so many things on the screen or picture in picture. When I did my Will, it buy, will I Buy It, it took like one and a half hour maybe because I had to put in the picture at the right time and the right sizes and everything so maybe 20 minutes to an hour it depends on how long the footage is like the free looks one palette it takes longer than that and just rendering it it takes maybe 10 minutes and then uploading it one half an hour to maybe two hours it depends on how long but editing part okay half an hour to one and a half hour it's so depending on what video it is question number six what was the worst technical accident you had since starting your channel and I haven't had that much I think maybe <laughs> the worst thing was my first video that I recorded I tried to editing on my computer, but my computer was too slow. So the audio and the picture they didn't sync and when I cut it it like cut the video but not audio. But then I, I figured that out. But I couldn't save it. So I put it in my boyfriend's computer that was better than mine. And it was all like I don't know, nothing matched and like the cuts I have done was not in the same place anymore so I, I couldn't use that video uh, I was so I was so irritated I think that's my most because I haven't had any like I haven't taken away some I haven't deleted any files that I needed and no I think that was I learned from this mistake always oh yeah one thing I did it was like a half an hour long video and I was going to click on save and I clicked on new file and it erased the file that I have been editing so it was just to start over. I hated that video. Um, so maybe that is my worst second error. So now I always press Control S to save, not to click on that because I going to click on a new f a new file and erase everything. So never again. Question number seven: Do you ever film something and not? upload it and I think it has happened maybe two times because I <laughs> don't have so much time to film I don't have the time to do it twice and then the same video twice because I don't have that time but I think it has been two videos that I looked at and like this 
I look fugly in this. I don't want to upload it. It doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Usually I like, if I start to film a video and halfway through I think like, this is nothing I want to upload. I just quit filming. But I think it's two videos that I've been editing and have everything is finished. They just have to go up on YouTube. But then I have like, no, this is not good. So it's two videos. Question number eight. Do you write the script or plan what you're going to talk about? I think that all of you that watch me knows the answer to this. No, <laughs> I don't. Maybe if I'm going to do like a get ready with me and I would want to talk about certain things, I write them down so I don't blabbering on on something else. And then in the end, like, oh yeah, it was this and this and this and this and this and this. So, some words, if there is something important I want to say. And also, when I'm doing my monthly favorites, I usually write them down. Because I don't come up with everything in the end of the month. So I don't forget anything. So if I come up with something like in the middle of, yeah, now January... And yeah, this is a good one. I write it down. But I do never do a script or anything. Just some words to know what I should talk about. Question number nine. nine. Have you started talking differently since you started your YouTube channel? And yes, I'm speaking English. <laughs> and I don't do that in my day-to-day -day life. But in the beginning of my channel, I did. Because I have always hated my voice. I still do. Um... It's hard for me to edit my videos because I have to listen to myself. Uh, so in the beginning I tried to talk a little bit more girly, maybe you can say. I have always been told that I have a manly voice. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't like my voice. Uh, so in the beginning I started to talk with a little bit more lighter voice. Than my normal voice but now I don't do that anymore if you meet me I speak English too this is how I sound and um, so I'm sorry for that question number 10 what's the one thing that annoys you when you're editing yourself and I often mumbles or mumbles like I can talk about something like when I do my makeup I talk like this and then I so you can't hear what I'm saying but then the next sentence I started I talk about something that I talked about in my house so I have to stop do that so sometimes I have to cut and it's like super weird what I'm saying because it doesn't go together because I have just mumble. And then I think it's the one thing that bothers me the most. Bothers me the most. And also I if I'm going to stop the camera or anything or I'm going to move, I usually stop talking and then move. So it's so hard to cut. Because this will show if I'm moving or if I'm turning or anything. Um, so that's hard. I have to say what I want to say and stop. And then move. So I can cut somewhere. So I don't cut in this. Uh, so I think these are the two most annoying things. While I'm editing myself. Question number 11. What is your biggest editing pet peeve in other videos? One thing I really really hate YouTube maybe it was a year ago um, if you get paid for your videos you can curse a lot not in Sweden you can't because then you either don't get paid at all or you get paid less and people that usually curse uh, or say maybe fuck a lot or fan in Swedish or something like that. They bleep it instead. I hate it. 
either you say it or you don't. Either you don't give a shit about money or you just shut the fuck up and stop with the curse, curse words. I hate that. I, I can understand if you like, you trip over something like, fuck. If you do like vlogging or something, but people that curse a lot and they don't stop, they just put in this bleep sound. I hate it. I hate it so freaking much. And I also hate when people have too many transitions. If I'm using a transitions, I usually, maybe if I do free looks one palette, I use it between the looks. But some people do it with everything. I hate that. But the bleeping thing I hate the most. Maybe I should bleep my <laughs> shit words now, so you just hear <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Little annoyed. Question number 12. Do you ever feel self-conscious in your videos? Self-conscious. Self-conscious in your videos. And yes, I feel that a lot. And <laughs> I don't know how much I want to talk about this, but maybe nothing. But yes, I do. We can leave it about. We can leave it there. Yes, I do. And question number 13, the last question. What keeps you inspired to keep creating? And it's a lot of because of you. Because I love this when we can talk in the comments. And I can talk with people that have the same interests interests as me and I also I have always wanted to be creative but I am not a creative person I can't paint my handwriting is shit I can't do anything like creatively things <laughs> I can't and with makeup I have some creativity and that's fun because that's one part of my life where I can do things that I shouldn't have done if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Like a whole green eye or a whole purple eye or black lips or anything. So I think that keeps me creative and also all the friends that I have here on YouTube. Um, when they do something fun, they inspires me to do something fun as well. So, yeah. Is that a good answer? <laughs> so, that was all the 13 questions. And you should really, really check out Prue and Annette. And I will, of course, leave their links in the description. Both their channel and their videos. And also all the questions. If you want to do it yourself. And if you do... Please tell me so I can watch your video and also tell Annette and Prue that you have done their tag. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. And also thank you for 500 subscribers. I think we hit it on... Okay, what day is it? Christmas... Yeah, Christmas day. So it was like a little present for me. <laughs> from you to me that we hit 500 i am so glad for that so yeah please subscribe if you don't and i will see you in the next video bye